Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install cPanel and WHM on the Linux server in 7 easy steps. I have created a virtual server running on CentOS 6.6 64-bit which I will use for this demonstration. Once you have your server ready, connect to it via SSH using your favorite client. In this case I am using PuTTY. Ensure that this is a clean installation as the cPanel software will override all other software on the server. Root access is required to install the software, so the first thing you need to do is log into the server as root. Once logged in, we want to make sure that the kernel and other software is up to date. We will use the yum command to update our software. Enter the following command yum y update. The system will now check for updates and automatically update the software. In this case, we use the dash Y option, so we will not be asked for confirmation. The updates are complete, so we need to reboot the server for the updated kernel to initialize. In CentOS, we can simply type reboot. The server will reboot after which you can log in again via SSH. Now that the system is restarted and your software up to date, we are going to install Screen. We will use Screen to recover the session should we have a network outage during the course of the installation. If we did not use Screen and the internet connection dropped during installation, we would have to start over. Since the cPanel installation can take up to an hour or longer, this is something that we definitely want to avoid. To install screen, we will use a yum command. Type yum y install screen. Again, screen will install without any prompts due to the use of the dash y option. Now that screen is installed, we need to install Perl, which is required by the cPanel installation. To install Perl, simply type yum y install Perl. We have now installed all the prerequisites and are ready to proceed with the installation. First, we need to change to the home directory by typing cd space forward slash home. Once in the home directory, we need to download the installer. For this, we will use the wget command as follows. wget dash capital N HTTP colon forward slash forward slash HTTP update dot cpanel dot net forward slash latest you can double check the link in the description of this video now that the installer is downloaded we will open a screen session by simply typing screen. All that is left to do now is run the installer. Remember, the installation process can take up to an hour depending on the internet connection and server spec. To start the installation, simply type sh latest. The installation will now start. We can either keep our session open 
or simply detach from the screen session so that the installation can run in the background. To detach from the screen session, press Ctrl A, then D. We are now det detached from the installation screen session. We will come back in about an hour to check on the installation. Alright, it's about an hour and a half later and the installation should be done by now. So to restore your screen session, uh, connect to the server as root via SSH. Once logged in, you type screen space R for restore. Since there's only one screen session, we don't have to specify the ID. We can see that the installation is complete. It is best practice to reboot the server after which you will be able to access and configure WHM. To reboot in CentOS, you can simply type reboot. The installation is now complete. In the next video, I will show you how to access and configure WHM for the first time. Cheers until then.